In other news, Halloween is on Tuesday and families have been lining up to get back inside a popular spooky spot after it was shut down for years. NBC 5's Tyler Bronski takes us to Pittsford inside an eerie haunted house that's also doing some good. The spooks and scares are back for one of the state's most historic and beloved haunted houses. And after a few year hiatus because of the pandemic, organizers say they're happy to open their doors again to the community. As the lines filled up to enter the Pittsford haunted house, the challenge was on. Let's see if they can scare me or I can scare them. Uh, okay. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. As the crew is back to bring the scares. <laughs> when you least expect it. <laughs> After being closed for three years because of the pandemic, the roughly 150 volunteers were ecstatic to open their doors again to the community for its 40th year anniversary. You kind of get that uh, tingling in your stomach. <laughs> That's what I got the first night. It's one of the most historic and popular haunted houses in the Green Mountain State. And when you take a step inside, you can tell why. The house itself, it, it really looks like it, you know, could be haunted and it actually is according to some people, haunted. A haunted house that's true to its name. That's because of the history behind it, as it served as a hospital for children developing tuberculosis in the early 1900s. A house that was used to help kids uh, and then kind of you know, transitioned throughout the decades to what it is now. What it is now is a staple Halloween activity for many families, with all the money going to those fighting on the front lines. The Pittsburgh Fire Department Chief Bill Hempel says the haunted house raises them roughly $20,000 every year. We've bought a lot of equipment over the years. We've bought uh, air packs, radios, uh, fire gear, boots and helmets. The perfect example of the community helping the community in a reminder for people like Kevin Heyer, who grew up coming here and has served as a volunteer for over a decade. He hopes the haunted house experience can be a core memory for others that visit. It's one of those things that I hope that they pass on to their their kids and everybody else and tell everybody, hey, come on down to the Pittsburgh Haunted House each and every year that it's open and have fun. The Haunted House runs through the end of Saturday. In Pittsburgh, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News. And if you love Halloween but don't like getting spooked like Tyler was getting scared, there is a new exhibit at a Plattsburgh museum that's more interesting than it is frightening.